Welcome to creating a file with ESOL. Once we've logged into ESOL with our username and password, we can start designing our file. In our case, we'll be using some text with the word Onefinity onto a piece of plywood. We'll center our design on our work area and then we can select our bit. Once we've finished creating our design and set the toolpath, we can go to the upper left and click on Machine. Then we can select Other with Garble. And we'll go down and when it asks which model, we'll click Other. If you're using the woodworker, it's 32.25 by 32.25. And if you're using the machinist, it's 16 by 16. Once we've set our work area, we can see that the grid has changed to that exact size. Once we've got that all set up, we can click Advanced. Now these settings should work for most general users. Only use these if you are an advanced user. If you have a spindle, you want to change that to automatic, but if you're using a router, leave it on manual. We can click Generate G-Code, and that will create our G-Code, and then we can click Export to save our file. Once we have our file downloaded, we will take that .nc file and we will transfer it over to the Onefinity either via Wi-Fi or a USB. Once the file is transferred, you're ready to start carving.